So I'm looking at general geometry and we're going to look at the effects of activate rules, deactivate rules, remove rules, deactivate reference rules. In this active file, it's a brand new 2D file and I've referenced in a reference file for, from an existing survey or design. I've also created geometry in this file. So I can just turn off the reference and there is my geometry that I've just created. So I've set an active feature, I'm creating a, a two point line and I'm going to snap to a feature in the reference and I'm going to snap to a feature on my geometry in this active file. If I select the new geometry we can see in element information under geometry points the start point and end points have the snap, the key point snap shown. We can also see that reflected in the active file and if I turn the reference display on or off it still maintains the snap to that reference file. By snapping to the reference and the geometry on the right hand side of this file I have created rules and relationships so if I select my geometry I can modify the geometry I could snap to the reference or move into space or I could if I move the geometry that we snap to at the end of this two-point line we can see the rule and relationship has been maintained with that snap on the geometry in the current file. The first point on my geometry was snapped to the reference file so let's look at the effect of detaching the reference file. I get a warning the reference has probable dependencies. I'm going to break the rule and relationship that I created with this reference if I hit accept. Now I'm going to hit yes and I've now broken that rule and relationship to the reference which is not really recommended. If I delete the line we snap to with my second point of my geometry we get a similar situation where I've broken the rule and relationship to that element. If I want to lock the position of this geometry and make it uneditable all I need to do is come across to my general geometry and I'm going to select deactivate rules. I've already got my element selected so I data point to accept and we can see now the manipulator and the text are uneditable and I can't move this element. If I move the geometry I snap to again it's locked in position that rule and relationship has been broken. If I undo and reselect the geometry and come across to general geometry activate rules I can reactivate the rule and relationships that I generated. I can go in and edit the direction or the length or I could if I select my alignment there and move that the rule and relationship to the snap is now been reactivated. If I select my geometry and I come across to the deactivate reference rules I'm going to data point to deactivate the rule. If I now select my geometry I can see that we've deactivated the, the rule. I've still got the snap to the, the active file but I've lost the snap to the reference and technically I could detach the reference should I need to. I could then reactivate the rule using this icon on the left hand side and I'm back to where I can modify the geometry or move geometry and my alignment retains the rule and relationship. The last icon we'll look at is remove rules. I'm going to get a data point to deactivate the rule. If I select that now you can see this is just a, a feature. The snaps have been removed. The rules and relationships have been removed. This can be useful if we've generated this line off a corridor and want to use this line as a point control. Therefore we've removed the circular reference with the corridor.